and yeah, I am taking two memory address. Any random memory address you can take and can perform the operation. Okay. Uh, we have to write a uh, program. XR operation on the data present, which are present in the memory address 8000 and 9000. Memory address, anyhow, you can take from 0 to uh, uh, 8 FFFF values. That's why if you want to. Uh, write the program when where the data is present in uh, this type of memory address values. OK. Then how to write a program first? Anyhow, we know that uh, data is already present in the memory address. Memory address they have given. No need to put the data once again by using the area operation. Leave it. Then next what we can do here? We have to go for main program that main access is uh, started here. Then. First. You have to take a data from memory address. That's why you have to take load LDR. DR where you will transfer any random register uh, values you can take and you can store that value inside that register. First, I'll take it as or not comma. Uh, what is the memory address they have given 800? Actually, it is represented in the form of 800 H. That is an hexadecimal value here also it 900 H. Normally it will be the small size, small size, small letters. Capital letter H will be represented for ASCII. That's why. OK, and now I want to take a data from 8000 H that you can represent as equals to 8000 H means whatever the data present in that memory address will be transferred to R not. OK, and same way you will take out the. Data which is present in your 9000 H also that is uh, take any one address or uh, uh, register R1 is equal to 9000 H. The data which is present in 9000 memory address that will be taken out. Now what we have to operate, what we have to do. For the XOR operation, what is the command for XOR operation? Can anyone tell? Operation can it please reply anyone, guys? You there? Okay. Uh, XOR operation EOR is actually XOR operation, comma. Which one ad, um, register you can take? You can take R0 and R1, any one of those only can store the uh, output, but. Uh, if you are going with respect to other register, you will take for uh, your convenience. You can take any other register that is R2 comma R0 comma R1 means whatever the data present in R1 is exact with R0 with R1 and it will be stored in R2. OK, and the result is already in the R2. That is the end of your program. That is to end. I am going to write here B here. That is your 
continuous loop where it will end your main program then end okay this is to perform an uh, uh, assembly level language program to operate a XOR operation on the data which is present in two different memory address values. OK, and. One more program we will do. After that, you people can uh, attend the. Have one more program. Yeah. Yeah. Take down the example. Application uh, assembly level language program to perform. To perform. Arithmetic. Right. Operation. Two times. On the. Data. Present in. Register R3. R3. OK. This is the actual pro question they are asking for. What we have to do? Go for main program. OK. And here they didn't give any information that where it is stored, where the data is present. No, they have given only thing is R3 is having the uh, actual value which should be performed with in, in terms of right shift operation. But what they have to, how many times it has to be uh, shifted four times that has to be stored in any of the register or else it can be taken as an immediate value. Two options are there, both I'll write it here. First, what we can do move. What any other any register R1 comma what is there hash zero. Zero four. Hexadecimal value is given here means you are uh, how many times you want to rotate that value is stored in R1 now. Now I have to do the. Uh, this one. Uh, uh, arithmetic right shift function. That is. Arithmetic right shift you can write it as ASR. Arithmetic right shift op code is ASR. How many, uh, wherever the data you want to store that I'll take it as R4 as a register result should be stored here and which register has to be uh, which data should be performed which is present in your R3 register. That's why write R3 here and how many times you have to shift that is 4 which is present in which register R1. Okay. And then you will be having the result in R4 that will be here that is loop or here be here. And 
so how it will perform automatic right shift also i'll tell you simply i'll take one value in the uh, or, or another one function also i'll tell you another program in simple way main program or another format main program here asr comma R3, gamma, dash, 0, x, 0, 4, h. Directly without storing your immediate value into some other register, directly you can write in this way also. This is also okay for, for getting your proper results. Okay. And this is also okay. Then I want to show you how this is performed. I will take any of the one example. 32 bit right shift operation they are asking. No, any value I can take that uh, is an uh, odd uh, randomly. I will take one example with respect to 32 bit. Mm -hmm. F B F B A yeah. This is an thirty two bit value. You can agree that with respect to four four values. Here I want I have to do the arithmetic right operation. How to do that arithmetic right arithmetic rotate operation that I will tell you what is this arithmetic right or shift operation. If I am taking E, what is the representation of E? E is 14. 14 can be represented as 1110. That is your 14 value. If I am going for 5, how it is represented? 101. Sorry. 0. 101. If I am going for 7, 7 is 0, 3, 1. Yeah. F is 1, 1, 1, 1. I am going for D. D is 13, no? Yeah, 13 is 1, 1, 0, 1. A is 10, that is 1010. If I am going for B is 11, 1011. And 5 is 0101. If I have to do the right shift in arithmetic format, see whatever the highest bit, MSB bit is there, simply mark it. Whatever the highest bit is there, after doing the right shift also, it won't become empty. The left hand uh, bit will, won't become empty the whatever the highest msb bit is there that will be replicated and you will be storing the same value into the mem uh, 32 bit value the whatever the lsb bit is there that will get vanished okay here if i am doing one right shift one right shift operation if i am doing what will happen the most significant bit is there huh? that will shift and yeah, so I'll make it as empty area, first bit, and one, whatever the value is there, simply I'll write as a shifting operation. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, so 010. Yeah, the last this bit is there. No, this has got vanished. And after right shift operation, and here you will get the whatever the MSP bit is there, that will get replicated, and you will get one more one here after the first right shift. This is an first right shift operation. Okay. If I am going for next second. Same way, whatever the highest MSP bit is there, that will be there, and the le this least significant bit will get eliminated. What you will get here, 
this part. Till here. Here I can open. Same thing here. Least negative significant bit will eliminate. Above this, one more one will come. Okay. Here, three bits are there. If this is actually your uh, MSP bit, I'll change the color. Not this one. Okay. This is MSP bit, and this is MSP bit. Two times after shifting, what you will get here? Okay. In the same way, here, if I am going for third shift, you will be taking out this least significant bit and repeating the MSP bit. Name way, you will be having here third shift. This one will get annihilated. And you will get one more one here. Okay. If you are going for fourth shift, fourth shift, the same way, this zero will get eliminated, and this will be eliminated, and you will your one more MSV bit will. Get added. This is your arithmetic right shift for four times. Now you can write the value how how much you will get here. See, first four bit will be F. You will get the hexadecimal value zero x. That is F. First value is F. Triple one zero is E and phi. And seven F one one zero one is twelve. That is B. No thirteen. It is D. Then one zero one zero is A, and one zero one one is B. After doing the right shift, you can compare your values with respect to this. See, uh, only first bit is changed, means for first uh, four bit value is changed. Remaining all the values are simply shifted. This phi is go phi got eliminated because four bit value, full four bit value we have eliminated because of right shift operation. That's why you will get this part. This here you can see. This is actually same as your. Well. This 28 bit value only changes the arithmetic uh, right shift we have done. That's why uh, MSB 4 bit values will become here for FFF 1111. That's why it has become uh, F and the last 4 bit got eliminated. That's why you will eliminate the 5 value. This is your this much is enough for today i think wait a minute i'll download the attendance you can go and attend your uh, placement session yeah thank you thank you yeah